the way the war started, the civil war started, is the way many of them start. It yes. starts with baby steps. Yeah. And so I would get goosebumps as they were talking about the various little altercations that were happening or, you know, somebody got beat in the market or, you know, yeah. things like that. That's it's also how the Holocaust started. First right. you get the star, then you can't go to school and and I was thinking, you know, this could happen anywhere. This could happen in Ghana and I wouldn't even be aware of it until it's, you know, too late. Yeah. But I love a good love story. And for me, <laughs> this book is not a I love mean, story. <laughs> reading the book I thought Olana and Odeniba I just thought that was you know beautiful and he you know she was like independent woman she does her own thing she's a free thinker and he's okay with that and I just thought you know I really like that story and then when I started getting to know things from Richard's perspective he, in his own way he seemed to really like you know to not like he really loved Kainana and I thought that was romantic too um, but I would I wouldn't describe the book as a love story it's a, a life story, I mean, I'd call you that, you know, because in the end, when um, when Odenibo had that incident with Amala, and then to, when he, I think he cheated on her again when they were in the camp, right? And he just, like, basically degenerated. Anyway, it kind of, it got me thinking about, you know, like, does war bring out the true human, you know, like, what you are, or does it, um, like, divert or cause a perversion of human nature. And so I call, I, I'd like to describe the book as a life story because I feel um, she, Chimamanda literally just presented like events and she told, you know, this person was like this and this is what he thought, you know, if, if she told us what he thought and um, this happened and he joined the war and he raped someone and this is his life, you know, like you make up your mind. Call it a love story. Why? Why? The Why? Recently? I don't see the book. As, I, I think the book is a tragedy for okay. me because I'm the type of person like, okay, let me give you. This is not to throw in like random cards. It could be a tragic lost story. Exactly. Know, love story. Like, I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think yeah. that it's a coming of age book. I think it's a coming of age book. It's a coming of age book. It's also a realistic fiction of a time in history. Yeah. It's it's more so, coming of age for me because even though these are these are adults. That are going through this. I mean, there's Ugu as well. Yeah. But the thing so is, the story was told from. This is a coming of age the, for Nigeria. Yeah. This is a coming of age for each adult in the story. Yeah. Everyone, like, the, everything has changed. The entire spectrum has changed. Yeah. Everyone has to start from the, from the beginning. And that's why for me it's not a love Because I was telling them before that Kainene Hanim means let's wait and see. Yeah. And it's so symbolic that in the end they cannot find her. Yeah. And it's like they're hoping that she will come back. That's why for me I cannot but yes, let, but let, me, let me hear from her. Like, the, the part novel. about the love, yes. It's a pretty thick novel, and you can have I multiple stories. There's multiple stories. Let me hear from her. To say that it's not a love, love story, I don't think yeah. it's accurate. There's because several. it can be a love story and a coming of age novel and other things. Exactly. Yeah. It could be a story about the But war. not generally a love story. Well, I, I, I think well, that well, this so book is multiple things. It's multiple things. It's a lot of things. It's multiple. I think also, if I could interject, I think your perspective is very ego. And it I think is because yeah. it um, is. if you look at a war where you know, as you said, it was like either fight or die. I think the story that I think I was drawn to more was a love story because I could identify how, um, apart from expectations, you know, most Nigerian tribes, regardless of evil or not, have expectations in approaching love. You know, most tribes do. I think most nations, countries, cultures have expectations around love, and Olana's approach to love was so different and removed that she found a person who's also like-minded in his approach to love that wasn't very culturally based. It was more sort of like philosophical identity that drew them together. I think exactly. a part of yeah. that was what carried the story forward.